Armand Crest was designed to be collaborative and have the building as part of the teaching tool. We have learning features throughout the entire building to get students understanding that this isn't just the place we go to school, the school is actually part of the curriculum and, the, and part of the teaching tools that we have and it's pushed us to think about how we're instructing differently. When you think of a school, it's kind of been the same for the last 100 years, even longer, 120 years. How can we reinvent that and also reinvent how they learn or, or how kids perceive school? You know, everyone wants to go to a museum, not every kid wants to go to school. So taking that little notion and, and bringing it in. When kids come into a museum, they're in charge. They decide where they want, want to go, how long they're going to spend on any given activity, and the parents follow. We wanted kids in a school to have that kind of free choice. Within the um, safe boundaries of school, within the lessons that they're supposed to be doing, we still wanted to give them that extra level of agency so they could be comfortable and um, feel like they're in control. One of the great things about this building as well is the furniture that we currently have where students can move with it um, really aids in that social emotional learning, um, figuring out what best works for them and how to be successful as learners. Everybody's different. I mean, I, I have ottomans in here, I have move, movement chairs, and I didn't have that in the past. Some of my students need uh, the ability to move around a little bit instead of just being in a seat. These uh, provide opportunities for movement in the, in the room. Meteor took the time to sit with um, groups of teachers um, from different grade levels, different walks of life as far as um, the, our specials areas with music and the arts and really listen to the needs and what they not just, you know, had and would want in the classroom, but also to push our thoughts about what it could be. You know, rather than your traditional you know, sit in a seat, you learn the whole time, you have time to move around, choose your um, learning area and environments. It's really promoting student achievement. I just think it's so important, especially since shutdown and COVID, where kids weren't talking with each other, socializing as much. To have this kind of atmosphere now is incredible. It's really bringing the kids back together and get to know other kids in the building bringing people literally out of the, the hole and back into the environment where they can all interact. I feel very positive. I feel very proud of the building we work in. And I feel that that just overflows into my attitude around the kids and in the classroom. The future is how do we collaborate with each other? How do we use those interactive skills to be able to problem solve together and the building in itself has embedded investigations in it to get us talking and working together um, and working on those types of skills that it's not just the content and memorizing facts but working together having hands-on opportunities to look and explore and, and solve things together. You know I really hope that um, as they reflect on their education that they see this as a turning point in their excitement about learning and that they had that sense of belonging and, and were reinvigorated with a sense of excitement about what they were doing and why they were here.